What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great, finally, freaking Friday. We got our live stream, of course, at 9 o'clock Eastern, and I'm actually just out here watching paint dry because I need this to dry so I can get on the. I am building a triplex triplex kennel and i gotta say the dog that goes in there i ain't gonna lie to you that's the biggest damn kennel uh, the thing is eight foot by uh eight foot by three foot it's huge it's huge but that's what the customer wanted so you know we aim to please so we're a little over a week away from hopefully breaking rashid's heart i hope we destroy him and his ideas of his team being winners. I, I just hope that we can do that. I pray that we can do that, but we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, we'll continue the dominance that we've had over the New York State and Giants. Now, I'm still trying to understand something because that's a Cox Cable guy, right? That's the cable thing that goes between my neighbor and my house. I don't have Cox. If my cable goes out, I'm looking for him. Hey, how you doing? Um, I'm looking for, yeah, he's, oh yeah. Okay, you, you, you need to switch to Cox, I think. Anyway, um, we'll find out if my cable is still working or not, or if it speeds slow down. I'm gonna blame that guy. So as we sit here, a little over a week away from the season starting for our Cowboys, as well as the other 31 teams, can you honestly say, you know, look, he's leaving, that you know what this offense is going to be like. I, You know, we've heard, I just want to run the ball. And then we get Hunter Lutke, who is a fullback, kind of like John Kuhn. Okay. All right. I hear what you're saying, brother. Because he can be like Moose Johnson. He can also be like an H-back. You can do quite a few things with that guy. But now... You did get rid of your power back in Zeke Elliott. Maybe you got rid of him because he's just gotten older and slower. That's a fair statement. And you look at Tony Pollard, he's not really a every down back. He's a gadget guy. He's a Swiss Army guy. And I don't know that you want to have the ball more than 15 times or so a game. Now we do have, of course, Rico Daddle. Okay? I'm sorry, Rico Daddle. Yeah, Rico Daddle, who... Is kind of that he, he kind of reminds me a little bit of Marion Barber without trying to run over people. You know what I'm saying? And then we got Deuce Vaughn, who is the magic man, the the now you see him, now you don't guy. So I guess between the three of them, you you, you have a good set right there. The thing that this is the thing that you that's going to be interesting to see. And, and I guess in some regards, we've already seen this. Um, because you look at teams like the Raiders paying Josh Jacobs um, now to get him finally in the fold, at least temporarily. You've seen the Giants paying, of course, Saquon, you know, to keep him happy and stuff and into the fold. Where they're the lead back, where they're going to get, excuse me, they're going to get the lion's share of the runs of the carries but i think that that's actually I, I think it actually makes sense to me now because you can only take so much abuse and so many hits in your body without wearing down that you need time to recover and i think what's happened more times than not is we've seen these guys wear out by the end of the season so when you say saquon because saquon the first game of the season he was butter he was like, oh my God, Saquon, he's the ultimate threat. And played good about the first half of the season. But the second half of the season, he wasn't quite as effective. He started to slow down. He didn't have the 100-yard games. He looked like he was wearing down. Still effective, still a good player, but not the same as before. So now you start looking at this and saying, okay, well, the Cowboys... By the time the season ends, if they're lucky enough to make the playoff, because they're running backs, let's say because Tony Pollard is only getting 
10 to 15 carries, that he should be healthier than, say, Saquon Barkley will. Even though you look at it and say, Saquon healthy versus Tony Pollard healthy, you know, that, that Saquon may be a better back. Or you look at Saquon versus Deuce Vaughn or Saquon versus Rico Daddle, you take Saquon. But by the end of the year, after taking, you know, 300 plus carries and all the hits and things, are we still looking and saying that Rico Daddle? Deuce Vaughn and Tony Pollard are lesser than Saquon would be? I don't think you do. I think you look at that and say, because they're not, you know, beat up, broke down, nicked up. Because the reality is, you know, the players, they'll say, oh, the player's healthy. Healthy, uh, you kind of have to give that with a grain of salt. Because healthy is still battered and bruised. Healthy is still sore as hell. Healthy is still some strains and some pulls, but you can still go. Because, see, right now, you're about as healthy as you're going to be. And each week, you're going to be lesser and lesser. That by the end of the year, you might only be 75, 80% of what you were when you started the season. But everybody is. And that's where I think the Cowboys have it right with the running back situation. And I think a lot of teams. When you start putting together, you start putting together the totality of the running that you're getting from multiple players versus having just one guy. You know, you see a Derrick Henry with 13, 1400 yards, but you know, everybody else, it's not that much. But then you see like Zeke Elliott with 900 yards, you see Tony Pollard with like 900 yards and a couple other guys. Then all of a sudden you look and say, the Cowboys were more effective running the ball with lesser people, per se. That, that's what we may end up seeing here at some point. I don't know. I don't know. But I think, I really believe that that may be the case. And see, with Tony Pollard, Tony Pollard is really good. But I still worry about Tony Pollard wearing out. I really and truly do. But we'll have to wait and see how all that works out. In the meantime and in between time, you do your thing and I'll do mine. And mine is, I got to go in here and make the molding for this, and hopefully the paint's dry so I can make the doors. Whew. Don't forget, we got our live stream nine o'clock tonight. Be there, be there, and I'll see you. Peace. <laughs>